good morning guys it's a saturday morning i just woke up and today i'm gonna make a video about five reasons why dating girls in buenos aires argentina is very different from other parts of the world i've been here for a month month and a half been out with a bunch of girls so i have quite a bit of insight about this place <laughs> about these five or however many interesting things i'm actually going to check out another neighborhood i'm going there with a colombian girl that i'm dating here she's going to show me around it's called la boca it's a small neighborhood slash street or something like that that's known for its tango and artsy things and other things i'm not really interested in but i'm willing to check it out hola Okay, fact number one, I didn't really want to talk about this, but uh, I just kind of remembered about it that, uh, and this, this applies to all of Latin America, that time is a relative thing. Whatever time you set up for meeting someone is approximate and, and being late, like 30 minutes is kind of okay. Most people actually, I know that for a lot of people, they have problems with people showing up late. For me, I never have those problems. People kind of tell me, hey, I'm going to be late. Uh, I don't know, but but that's just my experience. I know a lot of other people have a very different experience, but just know that it's kind of normal whenever you set a time when you're meeting someone here, it's it's really just an approximate time. Okay, finally, we're ready and we're going to La Boca. Look at these ghetto ass old school elevators. This reminds me of, well, nothing really, maybe Ukraine, <laughs> but nothing in Ukraine. Fact number two while we're waiting for our breakfast is, well, they will either come out with you or they will not. If they start responding to the first text and respond to your text in general, they will come out. If they don't, they don't. Most numbers will flake. That's fine. That's normal. You don't have to think too much about texting in Argentina. While I'm waiting for the lovely girl to buy us bus tickets, the next fact is if you end up going on a date but you don't get late, then uh, you fucked up. Because except one date where I went uh, on that I went on, which was a, which was a completely friendly date, all the other dates I've been on have ended in lays. Uh, it doesn't mean it's an easy country. You have to kind of know what to do and how to adjust to very small nuances in in, in day game or, or rather dating, but. In my experience, if you go out and don't get laid, you fucked up. We are in La Boca, we're exploring the neighborhood, and fact number four about dating in Buenos Aires is you don't only meet girls from Argentina, you meet a lot of girls from two more countries, Colombia and Venezuela. Fact number five, and I have a few more. Fact number five, everyone here smokes weed. I've met like one person here who does not smoke weed. I'm looking at her right now. She's the only person who doesn't smoke weed. Everyone else is getting high here all the fucking time. In general, I'd say La Boca is this small colorful neighborhood from what I've seen so far. It is just as touristic as in the previous video where I showed you Tigre which was like full of uh, souvenir shops and that's it. La Boca has more of a nicer vibe. It's in a, from what I understand, extremely poor neighborhood, like a really poor part of town. Uh, super colorful, super cute. I like this better than Tigre, definitely. Our Uber is here. So let's go to the city. We went to a different part of the city. It's called uh, Porto Madero. Yeah. And we're trying some uh, local Argentine thing, which is called Choripan. Um, it looks super weird. It looks uh, it's just a big sausage. Let's try the, other side first. the other side first, okay. That's what she said. I'm, <laughs> I'm teaching this girl, that's what she said, jokes, and she really likes them. Not really. It's too fatty. Yes. It's, no, I don't like him. While I'm recovering from the worst street food I've ever had in my life, <laughs> let's talk about two more facts. 
Num both are very sexual facts. Number one, everyone can deep throat. Uh, just like the rule of Latin America, maybe. The rule of Argentina, I don't know. And the next fact, I think it's like number six or number seven, whatever, is people in Argentina really, really know how to fuck. So if you don't, then maybe this is an opportunity for you to learn. Uh, if you want to have some wilder adventures, then this is the place. Uh, they just know how to move their booty in mysterious ways. Something that no one in Europe or USA knows how to do. Uh, so here's two more of it 18 plus facts about Argentina. Hey, 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 hey. And since I am super tired uh, and I'm, I'm going back to my apartment to take uh, a nap before the evening's party, uh, let's talk about the last two things that I want to talk about. The typical two other weird things, interesting things about dating girls in Argentina. One is nudes, nudes, nudes. They like them, they send them, they're fine with you taking them. It's a very open-minded culture. So that's, I think, number eight. And number nine is, since people are so open-minded, threesomes are definitely always a possibility. You just have to kind of try. I haven't tried setting one up yet, like in a serious fashion, just because I'm too lazy. It's always like a little bit of a hassle to bring a few chicks together. So I haven't tried doing that here, but uh, from what I've talked, with girls it seems very doable they seem very open-minded about it uh, so here it goes nine facts nine interesting things about dating in argentina uh, so now i'm going back to palermo i'm gonna take a nap i'm gonna rest i'm gonna have a dinner with my friends and then we're going to a sick ass party tonight i'm gonna keep reporting from there Before going to the party and having some fun, we are having a little dinner party, as you can see here. Uh, and then we're heading to the Holland House, and Holland House guys are throwing the last party. Holland House is this uh, crazy apartment, a guy from Holland uh, rented an apartment in the center of uh, Buenos Aires, in the center of Palermo, just to throw parties. It's like a apartment with three floors, the, the top floor is like a rooftop, and they throw crazy parties once in a while. And, uh, today is the last one, so that's what we're doing later today. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm a professional female people person. It's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. And you are drunk. <laughs> I am, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, uh, anyone who saw that I'm here and did not come here, but is gonna work with me later, by not coming here, you made a very, very big mistake. Because I go to the best places in the world. I know where I'm going. And just as the last summer was sold out and it was incredible, this this destination, no one came. You guys missed out big time. This is the craziest place I've ever been to in my life. If you know what you're doing. And what happens if you don't know what you are doing? Then you are like that. Yeah. <laughs> then you're like that and it's really sad. So learn what to do. Watch. The Structured Natural series. Oh shit, I wanna be so bad. Let's go. <laughs> For a pancho? Panchos, super panchos. Yay! Uh, well, guys, uh, just as this. <sighs> I can't even talk. Well, guys, just as this vlog started with me in the bed, this is the end of my day. End of the vlog. Party was crazy. I'm going to sleep. It's 5 30. In the morning, signing off, Saint Robert, from the craziest place I've ever been to in the world. Where am I? Oh, Buenos Aires.